Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. If you would like to check those out, links are below. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, check out my tarot and oracle decks or check out my tarot tutorial. All that is below. If you would like to spread some love and positivity, please go ahead and post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for in the comments section below with a green heart okay all right so let's get the let's get started with uh your i can't speak butterfly blessing oracle this is one of my decks let's see what blessing is coming towards the collective spirit tell me about the collective what blessing is coming towards the collective a truth will come to you the blessing lies in accepting it as reality awareness shock and eye opener Okay, so Cancer, uh, Cancer, here we go. We're starting already. Uh, this is not a Cancerian reading. It is a collective, collective, collective reading. Oh, my Lanta. So collective, I do feel that um, a truth is going to be coming towards you here. And it, it could be good news. It could be bad news. Okay, for each of you, it's going to be different, but it's definitely going to be an eye opener. Okay, okay. Spirit, tell me about, ooh, about the collective, please. Tell me about the collective, please. What does the collective need to know right now, please? What does the collective need to know right now, please? Okay, so we've got high honor, we've got distant horizons, and we've got toil and labor. Collective, there is somebody here that wants to put the work into... It's almost like this is someone that distant horizons for me could be like a future planning, okay? With high honor, this is somebody that wants to show you that they respect you, that you have a place in their life collective. Um, and this is someone that's going to start putting in the work to show you that they see a future with you. This person could live at a distance from you, okay? But on this card, there is an anchor here. And I think that what this person wants to show you collective is that they're not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? They want to show you that they're not going anywhere. They don't want you to go anywhere. And I really do believe that this is someone that's going to start putting in the work to show you how much you mean to them. Okay, we've got unexpected income in the reverse. We've got thief. And we've got marriage. Now, collective, this kind of just got interesting because this is not news to you. You're expecting this. And with thief and marriage, I think the reason why you're expecting this is because this person benefits from you being in their future. For instance, um, if you live in England or the USA and this person comes from a place where, you know, if they marry you, they can now live where you're living. They benefit from that. So shocker, you want to marry me, right? Um, this person may not make as much money as you. Shocker. All of a sudden you want to get married. It's almost like you feel like the reason why this person wants to plan a future with you is because they benefit in some way. So this is not going to be news to you. It's kind of like, sure, you want to get married, you know, because they benefit in some way. March 24th, March 27th could be significant. September 25th. Yes, yeah, see, change and poverty, okay? This is somebody that has less than you collective. And they want to change their life around. And I think that by being with you or marrying you, it will change their life. Either they will get some type of you know, visa or something like that, or it's a you live a better lifestyle than they do, okay? This person could just have nothing. They've got, you know, no friends, no family, no hope for a future. And, and you know, if they marry you or if they are with you, if they marry you or that if they're with you, their life will improve in some way. And you may feel collective that this person is just out to take advantage of you. 
Yeah, see, despair and false person. So collective, I think that you're really upset here because you're worried. You're worried that this person's lying to you. You're worried that this person is out to take advantage of you. Uh, we've got August 11th, August 16th. We've got thoughts here, message, house, and journey. Yeah, uh, this is someone that's telling you, hey, I've been thinking about you a lot. And, you know, you're about to receive some type of message here that this person wants to move in with you. They want to buy a house with you. They want to get married to you. You know, if they live at a distance, this person wants to come and move closer to you. July 10th, July 20th, July 16th, July 11th. So I think collective, you're just a little apprehensive here as to whether or not you should trust this person. Tell me about the collective. Yeah, see, great fortune. This person marrying you would be like a jackpot for them. You don't have to be a millionaire here, collective, okay? Let's just say you own your own house, you have a nice car, you have your shit together, and this person has nothing. This person has nothing. By marrying you, they have a stable home, they've got a car to drive, they, like, this is someone that benefits in some way, shape, or form. And there's a sense of, does this person really love me, or are they only here for what they can get from me? And I, I think that collective, this is really affecting you big time. This is really affecting you big time. Tell me about the collective here, please. This person is going to try to ease your fears collective. We've got message, mature man, and message of concern. This person's going to tell you, please, don't worry. I'm in this for the long haul. I, I want to grow old with you. I want to be here for you, okay? July 5th, May 26th could be significant because you're very concerned here, collective. This person could be a lot younger than you, possibly. They could be a lot younger than you. This person wants you to ease your fears. They want to ease your fears, but can you trust them? Yeah, bad health, family room, and child. Collective, some of you are really making yourself sick over this, okay? You may have gotten pregnant with this person and you're just not feeling well, like the stress of not knowing what's happening here with this person and you being pregnant is really stressing you out. Or collective, this is somebody that you may feel they're just too young for you. You may feel like this person is way too young for you. April 18th, April 21st, April 3rd could be significant. I feel like this is someone that wants you to plan a wedding. Courthouse, community, courtship. This is someone that wants you to start planning a wedding. They want friends, family there. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that really collective. They they seem to be coming on very, they're very serious about this. And they don't want you to worry. They don't want you to be concerned. But again, can you trust this individual? Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a Raven's Rose Oracle, which is one of my decks. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about this person? So we've got sensitive, nature, and resentful. Collective, I really, I have to be honest with you, I do feel like this person initially resented you. I hate the fact that you think you are better than me. It makes me want to humble you. Triggers and insecure. So you're not, I think that this is someone that may have mistreated you possibly initially because you had more than them. But something happened here with nature and sensitive where I think that this person calmed down when it comes down to that. 
It says here, I love being in nature and I need someone that loves it too. It's how I relax and let off steam. So I do feel like maybe this person has calmed down. They've spent more time in, in nature. They've meditated. They've, you know, grounded their energy. And with sensitive here, emotional, fragile, it may look like I don't care, but don't judge a book by its cover. I feel things deeply. Tell me more about this person. I feel like they're more in their feelings now, okay? Um, I think that this person, while they were with you, Collective, you forced them to go through a dark night of the soul. Like you forced this person to look at themselves and become a better person, okay? I do feel like this person has a friend group, okay? I do feel like this person has a friend group that may envy your person because your person is with you and they have a friend or a family member that doesn't want your person to have what they don't so they create problems and chaos so this is all telling me collective that your connection with this person was very turbulent before it got to this place and that may play a very big part as to why you don't trust this individual. Because it seems to me that, see, we've got humor, abusive, and jealous here. It's like this person's doing an entire 180. They're going from abusing the shit out of you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically because they resented you for being better than them. This person tried to spark jealousy in you. They wanted to make you feel unstable. They wanted to make you feel, uh, you know, unsafe. And they laughed about it, okay? And now, all of a sudden, this person's talking about getting married and getting serious. And I think that with mentally, with unstable here, you're starting to think that this person may have some mental issues, for some of you, this person could have anger management issues with rage and dominant here. They may have a temper problem, but I, I really do. For some of you collective, I think you're starting to think that this person is, is insane, that they've got mental issues because this person is going from being super like abusive towards you to all of a sudden wanting to plan a future with you and marry you. I don't get it. Spirit, what else do you have here for the collective's person? Thinking of you, crying nostalgia and missing you, secretive, sneaky, mysterious, and hiding information, and self-love. Collective, you are dealing with somebody that really, a very insecure individual. Okay, very insecure individual. I think that this person went through a dark night of the soul and they did not tell you you may have collective separated from this person. They went through some form of a dark night of the soul. They didn't tell you, but this person has learned to not feel insecure or be intimidated by you. This is someone that is finally ready to be happy. And I do feel like this person's missing you tremendously, okay? It may look like this person has moved on. They're distracting themselves with other things or other people. But ultimately, they went through a dark night of the soul and learned that they cannot abuse you because you're doing better in life. You know, they have to learn how to have self-love and self-respect. We do have 1111 here, uh, twin flame, runner chaser, dynamic, and divine timing with message and guilt. I think that collective, this person is starting to feel very guilty, ashamed, and remorseful for the way that they treated you because you honestly didn't deserve it. 
You honestly did not deserve it. And I think that this person would hurt you and then they would go brag to their friends or whatever that they hurt you. Like, oh, you know, the collective thinks that they have their shit together, but look at what I just did to them. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a little bit of an ugly energy. And they're realizing here how wrong that was. This person is looking at your pictures here. We've got the ex. This person may have put you in competition with other people, cheated on you a lot, and now they're reminiscing. They're sitting in regret. They're looking at your pictures and they're crying, okay? And they're crying. This is someone that may have cheated on you a lot because they wanted to break down your self-esteem. Uh, for some of you, when you met this person, you may have been proud of yourself and your life, proud of your accomplishments. You know, I went to college and I got a degree or I opened my own business and it's successful. Or, you know, I managed to buy a house and have a nice car and do all these things and achieve my goals all on my own. You know, I didn't have you know, family money or people helping me or inheritance money. I did this shit. I, I got everything that I have through blood, sweat, and tears. And um, you're allowed to be proud of that collective, okay? You're allowed to be proud of the battles and wars that you have won in your life. You're, you, you've earned your bragging rights, okay? And I think that this person wanted to crush you because you were better than them. But I, I promise you, they are realizing how not okay that is. They are realizing here, like, what the hell was I thinking? The collective loved me. The collective was good to me. And what did I do in return? I wanted to rip up the collective's self-esteem, self-worth, break them down on every level, Massive, massive regrets is right under the deck. It's literally the first card under the deck. We have I love you with an engagement ring here. Divine masculine and I love you. So collective, I do feel like this is somebody that is ascending into their divine masculine energy. This is somebody that was very much into a no strings attached relationship with third parties, reckless, re uh, reckless sex with people, drinking and toxic lifestyle. I do feel like your person is ready to block these, you know, the block everybody, they're, they're friends with benefits type energies. They're willing to block these people and this is somebody that is willing to actually show their feelings. Your person is freeing themselves from negative and toxic people. They are learning to love themselves and they're learning to love you. This person, yeah, I think you were the catalyst for this person to go through a dark night of the soul. You and this person may have had a very strong love-hate relationship up until now. You forced this person to face their true colors. Like how ugly is it that I keep hurting the collective because the collective makes more money than me or has a nice car because the collective is a good person. I'm doing this like what the hell's wrong with me? That's the mindset that they're in. With faith, healing, and meditation, and praying here, collective, and then we saw that nature card, I think that your person is spiritually ascending here, okay? Off and on, hot and cold, detached and ghosted, and secluded, with not happy. I think that what happened here, collective, is you may have cut this person off for good, and once it was game over, and they were just left to face the things that they've done. This person is really not happy with the situation or with themselves. They are sitting in a tremendous amount of regret. I think that this time of separation was needed collective in order for your person to get their shit together. I really do believe that it was needed. And I do believe that this is going to come back together in divine timing when this person is ready to treat you right. I just saw the judgment card. Tell me about the collective, please. 
Hanged man in the reverse, yep. So the hanged man in the upright would be suffering and sacrificing to gain enlightenment. In the reverse, this is it. Ding, light bulb has gone off. I see it now. I see it now. I see that, you know, Pisces energy here. I see that I cannot act this way, okay? That what I did wasn't fair. With the two of cups here, the emperor, the nine of swords, the ace of cups, the tower and the 10 of cups collective. I think that your person is coming into an energy of, I am so head over heels with the collective. What the hell did I just do? I lost an amazing woman, an amazing man that had their shit together, had their mind right. What the frick did I just do? Aries, Taurus energy, Scorpio energy. This person is suffering collective. They are up all night. They are crying. We've got the 10 of cups here. This is somebody that is really getting in their feelings. This is someone that is telling themselves the collective would have loved me until the day that I died. You know, the collective would have loved me until the day that I died. Six of swords here, the 10 of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and temperance here. Collective, this is somebody that wants to move away from the negative energy. They have a massive offer for you here. This is somebody that could be proposing marriage, proposing something long term. The Ten of Pentacles could be, an, and the Ace of Pentacles could be them giving you an expensive gift, maybe an engagement ring. This is somebody that is willing to start a long term future with you. With temperance, they want your forgiveness. Three of wands and the star card here. Again, what did I say at the beginning of the reading? This is talking about the future. Talking about the future, what the goals and aspirations that you guys have. The moon card, the lover's card, the knight of swords, the five of swords, and the devil. So collective, I do feel that whatever uh, third parties that this person kept around secretly be so that they could be on and off with you or they could be in and out with you. Do you understand? Like this person kept people on standby so that whenever they wanted to sabotage the connection with you and run out because they were sitting in this devil energy, I think that they're going to walk away from all of that. This is somebody that is coming to their senses and they're realizing here that they, they need to do the right thing because you were a blessing. And with the Hierophant, I am seeing marriage here, okay? I am seeing marriage here. Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Sun card, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Cancer, this is... Okay, Cancer. Collective. Why do I always say cancer? I'm sorry. It's a collective reading, not a Cancerian reading. Oh, you're going to chew my ass up in the comments. All right. So collective. This person it will be more than happy to show you that all the people that they were cheating with or doing fuckery with are out of the picture. They're going to show you I've walked away. I'm not talking to them anymore. I'm serious. I want you and only you. This is an energy of I want to start new. I want to start fresh with you. I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm passionate about this. I've changed and I want to get serious. Okay. This person is coming to you in a more serious energy because I think that they did a lot of soul searching. This person was in hermit mode. They did go through a dark night of the soul. Okay, and now they're making better decisions for themselves. They are. So collective, I know that when this person comes back around, they've put you through a lot. I do. I understand. And you have every right in the world to tell this person to, you know, f fuck all the way off. Okay, you've got every right in the world to do that. My job is to just tell you that this person has grown this person sees that what they put you through was wrong. They did it for the wrong reasons. They know that their circle is toxic, okay? Because don't get me wrong, like understand what I'm saying here. This person understands what they did wrong, but they're also seeing the full picture collective because it's like, man, I was really a, a dick. You know, I was really an asshole. And to hear my friends are, 
clapping me on the back and telling me, go, you know, like, what kind of friend are you? You know, I've got this amazing woman, this amazing man, somebody that I'm never going to be able to replace in my life. And you're sitting here, you know, like cheering me on to do this fucked up shit to such a good person. What kind of friend are you? A good friend would be like, dude, you need to sit down because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. You got, you know, a chick with her head together. You got a dude with his head together. You know, you, they got their shit together. You know, you need to raise yourself up and, and meet them where they are. You know, instead this person tried to pull you down to where they are. Do you understand? And I think that your person is realizing not only do they need to change and become better, but they need to change their friend group too. And they, they've awoken to that also. Like, what kind of friend are you where you didn't call me out on my shit? Because let me tell you, I mean, I'm like that. If you're close friends with me, I will call you out on your shit. And I expect you to do the same to me. It doesn't mean that because you're my friend or my best friend, if you're arguing with your man or your girl and you're wrong, do not expect me to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if it really calls for it, I'll just be quiet. And then in, you know, behind closed doors, I'll tell them, listen, you're wrong. You need to go and apologize. Like I might have your back, you know, at face value, but behind closed doors, oh, you're going to hear some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I may not embarrass you in front of your person or whatever, but you know, behind closed doors, you will hear me say you need to get it together because you're wrong. Okay. So, you know, collective, I think that this person isn't just waking up to their faults, but they're also waking up to the people around them. Like, why wouldn't you, you know, tell me that this is a good <clears throat> opportunity for me and I need to get it together and stop being such a dick. Like what kind of friend are you, you know? All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Take care.